I'm Don Nelson. These are your news and weather headlines. Workers at the National Interagency Fire Center returned to work following the 35 day government shutdown. And now they are trying to play catch up in order to get ready for the upcoming fire season. The BLM smoke jumpers are busy preparing their gear. They also normally perform training during the winter months. Another key component during the winter involves hiring firefighters, and that is where NIFSI has fallen behind. So because of the shutdown, that's caused some hiring delays. So thankfully, we've had human resources staff working even the last two weeks of the shutdown to make sure that we've got all of our wildland firefighters hired and ready for the spring. NIFSI remains confident that they will be ready for the fire season, stating that firefighters are used to working under pressure situations. The Idaho Supreme Court is hearing the arguments in a case challenging the expansion of Medicaid through the passage of Proposition 2 in November. The Idaho Freedom Foundation argues Congress could at any time change the Affordable Care Act, leaving it up to the state to fund the other 90% of Medicaid expansion, which they argue could mean cuts to other programs. The state's lawyers argue the lawsuit is putting the cart before the horse, fighting cuts to funding that even hasn't started yet. They say it is Idahoans who voted for Medicaid expansion originally, with more than 60% supporting the proposition in November. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Norval with the On Your Side forecast. Good evening, everybody. It's after 530 in the evening. Temperatures today were comfortable, mid-40s, a little bit above average, 45 in Ontario. Feeling warmer because of all that sunshine, 30 to 35 in the Central Mountains this afternoon, and no cloud cover. That's the key. The high clouds all down to the south, staying down to the south, and that should be the case maybe even through tomorrow as well as high pressures trying to take this next storm system and drive this one down to the south as well following the last one which is uh, just north of Los Angeles. Uh, so a few clouds could drift on by, but generally speaking, not too much will change until the weekend. Back east, however, huge blast of Arctic air is coming around low pressure. And temperatures will be dropping below zero. Already have occurred in some locations, and it will be that way in Chicago tomorrow, about 13 degrees below zero for the high temperature. In the meantime, enjoying nice warm up here in the west, getting to near 49 by Friday. Lots of sunshine with clouds increasing Friday. Then Friday night, a chance for rain Friday night and Saturday. Right now we could have a break on Sunday, so we'll go with mostly cloudy with a chance for a little bit of rain. But I think the better chance of rain right now appears to be the weekend. I told you this is going to change back and forth as we try to track these storms. After the weekend, colder air will start to come in. We could drop to 39 on Tuesday. And you notice we've got, uh, let's see, the 1st, the 2nd, the 3rd, the 4th. We go into about the 6th of uh, February, 5th and 6th. We may have snow coming and, and the snow that will stick and stick for a good portion of the day. Now, it may not stick around for a long time, but we get that colder weather that will start to head on in. So milder weather, rain on Saturday, then turning colder the next week. I'll keep you updated on Facebook or check right back here later today for more updates.